How do you connect with anyone at a networking event or a social gathering, even if you don't know exactly what to say? Well, there's a five-step formula that you can follow to build better connections. And I'll start with the first part, which is you gotta smile. The moment you see someone that you want to approach, you smile at them because your smile is the first impression. It's not necessarily how you dress. It's not even the words you say. It's your smile because that's the first thing they'll see. The second thing that you want to do is when you approach them, ask this question. Hi, how are you? The reason why this is a great question to ask is that it's easy, yet open-ended. So you're inviting the other person to engage right away. And you might be surprised what they say. They might say good and you, and then it's right back at you. Or they might say, I've had a better day. And you might ask why? But either way, just follow your nose. What's interesting to you? What makes you immediately wonder why, how, what? And go with that. Next thing that happens is, let's say they say good and you. And you're like, oh, what do I say? Well, story time. One of the best things you can do in conversation is not just immediately interrogate them with question after question, because then that might make them feel uncomfortable, but rather open up yourself. Because the goal of any social interaction, particularly in these scenarios, is to get below the surface level, get to know you, what motivates you, who you are, and vice versa. Get to know them at the personal level, not the topic level. So how do you do this with a story? It could be very simple. You don't want to go more than 30 or 45 seconds. But if they were asking you and you, how are you? Think about how you even got to the event and your current state. So I might even say something like this. Well, I work at the NBA, which is about five blocks from here. And I just was really excited to come here. It's been a long day at work. But have being new to the city, I've been just hoping to meet new folks. And that's why I'm here. And then what you do once you tell the story is you pause and see how they react, if at all. If they just nod their head, then you know that you might want to ask a question to get them going. And that's okay. That's normal. But if there's something you say that's potentially interesting, again, the whole point of the story is to give detail. You want to give a couple details, two or three that stand out. The fact that I work for the NBA or the fact that I'm about five blocks away. Oh, and by the way, I'm new here. Sparks. Those are conversational sparks. Those details are conversational sparks. Inviting the other person to take up on what you said, to go with asking questions that might be more natural. But if they don't say anything, then you ask a question back at them. Only if they don't say something. So what I like to ask are open-ended questions. Why? Because it allows the other person to expand. And that helps you get more conversational sparks that you could latch on to, whatever is interesting, and you could go off of that. So one of my favorite open-ended questions to ask, particularly in the beginning of an interaction at a networking event or a social gathering is, and I'll put it up here with more space on the board, what brought you here? Again, why is this such a great question? Because it starts with what? It's an open-ended question. They can go a myriad of ways with it. You might hear them say, well, I happen to know the host. Great, how do you know the host? Or they might actually tell you about something deeply personal about them that motivated them to come. Oh, I'm actually a startup founder and I was looking to network with other founders in the space. Now, whenever you do that, all of a sudden you've got opportunities to latch on, to build on the conversation. The goal at the end of the day is to not have a ping pong match where you are going answer, then question, then they answer, then question back at you. No, instead you guys are trying to go together towards something, common ground, okay? When you're essentially asking them questions, and then hearing how they respond and then reacting to their response where you might build off what they said, take it in a different tangent, you guys are going together. And you don't necessarily have to feel like you need to ask a question. The end of the day, the most important thing that you should do is to not fake your interest. Don't fake interest because that can be seen. So how do you get interested then in topics that aren't interesting to you? Well, you find other ones that are genuinely interesting by telling 
stories, by opening up. The more you can open up, the more opportunities you give to that other person to latch on. And at the end of the day, if they're not latching on to anything that you're saying, they're not picking up on the sparks that you're leaving for them, those breadcrumbs, well then, maybe it's not worth your time, but at least you've given it a fair shot. So at the end of the day, I want you to remember, smile big. Make sure that you ask the open-ended, innocuous question, hi, how are you? Then you wanna tell a story, a quick one. It could be 30, 45 seconds. That just gives them detail, a scene, something they can pick up on. Then you pause, you see if they're gonna respond whatsoever, and then you leave them with open-ended questions. What brought you here? and go off whatever's interesting. If you can follow those steps, I promise you, you will have more engaging conversations the next time you go to a networking event or a social gathering.